We're called Yoko, um, so we adopted Yoko in 2015, um, she was a rescue um, Italian greyhound, um, a brief zona dropped on her legs and broken her, her legs, so we started to find uh, foods uh, as part of this recovery process. So our treats at the moment are all organic, gluten free, no additives, no added sugars, um, the dehydrated biscuits, um, we dehydrate them at home and uh, make them more at home. So we've got a range of flavours such as kale and seaweed, uh, salmon and sweet potato. So everything we do is personalised um, and the idea is you send me a picture of your pets and I hand draw them and then embroider them onto t-shirts, sweaters, cushion covers, that kind of stuff. Yeah. I think Valentine's is just another reason to spoil your dog. Everyone loves another reason, so it's just the perfect excuse. Buy all these cute little uh, peanut butter kisses or love bars. It's just, yeah, any occasion to spoil your dog. Consistently they like the neckerchiefs and the, the bandanas and um, I think what they like about these is the ones with the different breed faces on them which I carve out of the lino block and then hand print. quite a good opportunity to, for people to come and meet some of our lonely hearts who are our dogs looking for homes and um, yeah it's obviously just a, it's something different to do for Valentine's Day and obviously involves dogs owners and um, obviously if you don't have a dog you can still come along and meet some cuddle some and have a fun day and support our dogs in need obviously <laughs> Love, affection, and she's so loving and she's so affectionate, she's so caring, she's just like a human being, she gives us so much love. <laughs> We come every year to the Valentine's Dog Walk because we got Daisy around about this time three years ago. So it's our annual pilgrimage back to Hampstead. <laughs> 